Hello, my name is Martin Dennison. For one or two years now, I've been testing various models of Sea Touch underwater housings for smartphones made by a Chinese company called Dive Volk, as in Volkswagen and Dive. They started with iPhone housings that were relatively small. Um, but in the meantime, they have a relatively universal housing, the C-Touch Pro 3, with different inserts that allow you to position the iPhone in such a way that the camera is correctly behind the window of the housing. What sets this housing apart from all the others that I know of is oops, is the fact that it has a soft plasma-like touch-sensitive screen that allows you to use the touch screen of your smartphone underwater down to almost 80 meters. It's not exactly like using the touch screen directly above water, but it works well and you can pinch and zoom with two fingers and it does what it's supposed to do. If you need to, you can attach macro lenses. Um, these are stackable and wide angle lenses. Here's one with an attached wide angle lens. But many newer smartphones, such as the iPhone 11, already have excellent wide-angle lenses. And I must admit that I was blown away by the quality of the videos that all these various iPhone models in all these different housings over the years have produced. And if you're interested, I'll post some links below to videos that were shot exclusively with iPhones in C-Touch housings. But that is not what this is all about. I recently took delivery of a custom-built professional underwater housing for my Canon EOS C200 video camera. It's built by an Austrian company called Subal, as in sub and aluminium, and it is in fact milled from a solid block of aluminium. Subal can waterproof their housings to 120 meters, but this comes at the cost of stiffer buttons due to the added seals required to make the buttons waterproof. The version I have is waterproof and tested to a depth of 80 meters, which by coincidence is the same as the depth for the C-Touch housing. Now, the Subal housing for the Canon C200 has buttons that allow me to access virtually all the functions of the camera, including the joystick and the menu. It has a viewfinder and a window that allows me to see the monitor. There's the viewfinder and the window, and the monitor comes with the camera. So it's the, the monitor that comes with the camera that is normally built in and allows you to uh, observe the monitor. But there is one function that I cannot access through the housing, and that is the touch screen. In particular, the touch to focus functionality in combination with what most people know as object tracking, but Canon calls subject tracking. Now, we all know that Canon has best-in-class dual pixel autofocus, and subject tracking works really well once you've discovered how to activate it. I'll post a link below to instructions on how to activate that, because it's not self-explanatory. You actually have to assign that function to a button. Now, if you're familiar with Canon's remote browser control feature, 
where the C200 sets up a wireless access point that allows connection and control of the camera with virtually any browser on a computer or mobile device, you can probably guess where this is going. Especially because it allows a smartphone to function as an additional monitor and it does have touch to focus capability. It also gives you touch screen access via your smartphone browser to virtually all the important settings that you might want to change, such as white balance, ISO, shutter speed, iris, and if you have a servo lens, even zoom. The combination of the Canon C200 in the Subal underwater housing and my iPhone 11 in the C-Touch Pro 3 housing give me something that I've always wanted, but which to my knowledge has previously not been available in any professional underwater camera system. Touch to focus. Let me just show you how that works. You may be able to see here the touch screen and whatever I touch, there's a little box that appears and that's where the focus goes. So it's really something that I've always wanted to have. And after more than 40 years of diving and filming, I have now finally got an underwater touch screen for my camera. And believe it or not, at an extra cost for this housing, of currently only $170. The best thing about it is that if the worst comes to the worst, say for example, you realize underwater that you've forgotten to insert CFAST and SD cards, or you've forgotten to take the lens cap off, you can always use the iPhone to capture great video <laughs> in the C-Touch housing. Admittedly, it might not be quite in the same quality as the C200 because this doesn't do 4K RAW at 60 frames per second, but it still does quite good video and very usable video. By the way, Wi-Fi connection underwater only works over extremely short distances. In other words, the two housings virtually have to touch. So thank you for watching and I'll post some links down below that explain how to use the browser remote functionality um, that also explain how to set up the um, object tracking capability of the C200. And as I mentioned, a couple of videos that were shot exclusively with C-Touch housings. The oldest was done in an iPhone 7 in this very housing here. And um, the latest is uh, with the iPhone 11 in the C-Touch Pro 3. So I hope you enjoy watching them and thank you for watching.